everyone welcome back um, so today I want to talk to you guys about um, a personal statement and um, your resume or your CV um, so I've been getting asked a lot of those questions in my own group so I wanted to share with you guys kind of any tips and advice I can give you also there's a lot of information already out there if you just were to google it um, there's some great blogs already that kind of go over this question um, one of them that I found is called life as a CRNA.com I don't know who wrote that blog, but she did. whoever did it did a very nice job, so definitely check that out um, for help if you need help with this. But pretty much ultimately, the, it's really simple, honestly, you guys. So they're going to they're gonna give you a, um, an essay to write. It could be 300 words, it could, um, and they literally ask you what they want you to tell them about. It could be, you know, why do you want to be a CRNA, um, what's, what are your career goals, why you're driven towards this career path, and why this program or what's going to set you apart um, as what kind of skills do you possess that's going to set you apart. Literally, they're going to tell you what they're going to want you to tell them. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. So, um, And then ultimately, the things you want to avoid is don't just make it all about the money and autonomy because they're going to do an eye roll, they're going to yawn, and they're going to fall asleep, and they're going to move on to the next. You want your admission essay to make you stand out. You want to make it relatable, personable, kind of related back to a story you have. Um, of how maybe you first became interested in becoming a CRNA, whether it was a shadowing experience, um, a family member, a role model, a friend, a coworker. Um, again, whatever it is that kind of initially sparked your interest in the career, um, that's what you need to talk about. You need to talk about your passion is how what what's going to be the driving factor to keep you pushing through through school, um, because this is a hard career path. So if you choose it, you have to have more motivating factor than, factors than just autonomy and money. Um, you know, when, you know, things get rough, you're going to have to have drive and passion to want to push through. And that's what they want to see um, that you have for this profession. So those are the kind of things they're looking for. Um, and um, next, the CV, again, pretty, I think pretty straightforward. Ultimately, they want, this is your time to shine. It's your time to kind of sell yourself. Um, why, what makes you a great nurse? You know, have you done leadership work? Have you done committee work? Have you actually participate in actual research maybe even or volunteer work and um, traveled abroad um, you know are you a charge nurse do you precept students um, do you and then obviously highlight the type of equipment you use do you, are you um, do you do prisma or are you uh, manage balloon pumps um, you know do you see swans and a lines and ventrix and um, icp bolts i mean highlight any kinds of equipment that you use and you um, feel like you can Gain, that you've had good experience with. So again, it's just kind of highlighting and selling yourself to the program. Um, uh, include, again, like any kind of activities that you've done that's kind of been extra on the side. Um, just show, show people that you are involved in, um, in your community and things like that. Um, all those things are going to go a long way. But again, the mission statement, pretty they're going to tell you what they want and just make it as personable as possible. Um, and kind of relatable in a sense. Um, honestly, if you think about when you write it, if you kind of just write it with like emotion, I don't know if that sounds kind of funny, but when you write, just kind of think about, if you think about why you want to be a CRNA, like, and you think about the emotions that kind of stirs inside you, how can you verbalize that? How can you write that down on paper? How can you get the reader to feel what you're feeling inside when you think about becoming a CRNA? That's what you want to write. You want to write something that's going to, that's going to let them feel what you feel when it comes to the passion and drive you have to become a CRNA. So, okay, that's all for today, you guys. Um, have a good Saturday and go Bucks. All right, bye.